Greetings to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray and trust you are all well. Thank you for coming along to my video. I am Nicholas the Watchman on December 9th, 2020. Thank you for joining me. I'm back. Yes, alive and well. <laughs> I didn't die. I didn't go anywhere. Praise the Lord. I'm still here in the month of December. It's amazing how I got this far. Um, clearly, I couldn't do it myself. Praise the Lord for getting me this far. And let's have a look at the news. My oh my, if we're not close to the rapture of the church, I don't know what the definition of close actually is because we can see that the enemy is at work trying to get a narrative going that something's coming and it would explain away the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ without mentioning Jesus. No, they said for decades and decades that aliens exist either through movies, TV shows, music, you name it. And here we have an article um, on the movie web website and I'll post the link in the description box if you want to have a look. Aliens don't want to be revealed because humanity isn't ready, claims former head of Israel's space program. President Donald Trump was allegedly going to reveal that aliens really exist, but they requested that he hold off. Really? Aliens apparently don't want to be revealed because humanity isn't ready. According to the former head of Israel Space Program, Professor Hayim Ashed, served from 1981, wow, I was one year old then, to 2010 as the head of Israel's Security Space Program, and he claims that aliens are real. Well, we know they're the demons, fallen angels. Amen? Anyway, if that wasn't enough, Eshad says that there is a real-life galactic federation who believe that Earth can't handle the truth at this point in time. In a recent interview, Professor Eshad talked about the existence of aliens from his years of experience with the space program. At the age of 87, Eshad holds a bachelor's degree in electronics engineering from the Technion that sounds quite alien itself, doesn't it? The Technion. A master's degree in performance research and a doctorate in aeronautical, aeronautical rather, engineering. He has also extensive experience in the Israeli Defense Force military intelligence. You can read what he had to say about the aliens below. And of course, we've had these monoliths appearing and that is actually a hoax because I read that it's a, um, a an artist hammering them together. And you can tell when you look at the things, they've got screws in them. It's funny how they're triangular shaped, though. Hmm. Anyway, the UFOs, this is what the... Um, the professor says, the UFOs have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet. I think they are, really. But reading on, Trump was on the verge of revealing, but the aliens in the Galactic Federation are saying, wait, let the people calm down first. They don't want to start mass hysteria, and they want to first make us sane and understanding. Well... That sounds very new age to me. I'll continue. Allegedly, Donald Trump was going to make a big reveal about the aliens, but the aliens in question wouldn't let him do it. Things get even more interesting from there. They have been waiting for humanity to evolve and reach a stage where we will generally understand what spaceships are, said Professor Hayim Ashad. He goes on to claim that the aliens are working with the United States government. Yes. There's an agreement between the U.S. government and the aliens. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here. 
updates who are researching and trying to understand the whole fabric of the universe and they want us, us as helpers really there's an underground base in the depths of mars where their representatives are and also are american astronauts hmm. if you're asking yourself if Hayim Ashad may have lost his mind, he is well aware of his current reputation. If I had come up with what I'm saying five years ago, I would have been hospitalised, he says. Wherever I've gone with this in academia, they've said, the man has lost his mind. Today they're already talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I received my degrees and awards. I'm respected in universities abroad, where the trend is also changing. A shed is not fearful for revealing these alien secrets, though the aliens might have something to say about it. So I reckon that's just a taster, isn't it? That's like saying, there's a lovely cake I've got here, but you're not ready to eat it. Mm. But people are. They know people are, or they wouldn't have released this claim but what does the bible say about this i wonder ephesians 6 verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places that's exactly what we're talking about that's exactly what we know from the bible the principality of the air is Satan. He, he runs everything. He runs everything in the first heaven and the second heaven. The first heaven being our atmosphere and the second heaven being the universe, and the stars, and the planets, and so forth. He's in charge of it all. He probably has so much deception to a level that we can't comprehend. He will only reveal himself halfway through the tribulation period so on the run-up to that time there's lots and lots that can be slowly revealed to mankind and of course satan would have allowed this to come out to make people curious this new story rather to come out to make people start thinking well wow, really mm, mm, this is this is interesting and drip feeding people this information and one day the rapture happens people randomly disappear and then they will come down and say i think you're ready to know why all these people disappeared and i do believe the man of sin the antichrist himself will be that one who comes from space and reveals himself as some kind of savior because Let's face it, somebody who is in this world now, who can rise up and suddenly become really influential, that's quite easy to do, but to have a massive impact globally, wouldn't it be a good idea to come from space and tell people you're here to change the world for the better? I think that would be a viable option obviously i don't know and we are looking for jesus christ amen we're not looking for any space aliens but we're watching the pieces come together we really are we're, we're just watching all this madness come together and it is madness we've been seeing the movies for decades how many alien movies are in comparison to how many movies there are about the Bible and Jesus Christ. There's, there's no comparison. There's, there's probably 1% Jesus Bible movies compared to 80% alien movies. And I can reel off all the alien movies till the cows come home, but I won't because we we all know anyway and this is <laughs> and this is a taster of what's to come 
we're all being conditioned to it for many, many years. Most people are so conditioned to it, they just yawn and think, oh, yeah, whatever. But when it actually happens, we will be, well, we won't, the church, we won't be here, but we'll, well, maybe, I don't know. Who who knows what we'll see while we're still on this earth, but we'll be desensitized to it. Like with all these beat em up shoot em up movie games that are getting more and more violent each and every year. And if somebody gets killed in the street or run over and blood everywhere or somebody gets shot, people will just say, ah, yeah, well, that's life. They're used to it with all these computer games they play. They're just used to violence and bloodshed, not just computer games, TV, movies. The enemy has played, uh, played a great game of dumbing us down and also desensitizing us to sin. Sin now is just not even thought of once we just do it. We just do as we please and it's become a way of life. We don't know we're sinning, which is why we need a saviour. But the saviour will come in the form of the saviour, the messiah, Christ Jesus, our Lord. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming along. I do hope you're all well. So I return to YouTube for as long as I'm here, i.e. the church, as long as YouTube doesn't boot me off the platform, I'll stay. Um, I said that before and left, but um, I'll make a promise. I'll stay until either I drop down dead or YouTube boots me off or not. I'll be in heaven and there you'll see me anyway. So thank you for coming along. I love you all. God bless you all. Stay well, stay in prayer, stay in the word. God bless you all. Bye for now.